Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more State of Decay. When we last left off, we found ourselves in a weird mansion. We found ourselves with a handgun and a shotgun, which maybe we should try the shotgun. Because we haven't had any fun with that yet. Let's see what this thing's like. Alright, it takes a little bit longer to focus. Oh, alright. Okay. Oh, there's a head splodge. Oh, this game's got a head splodge. Is it as satisfying as Resident Evil Original Trilogy? Eh, not quite, but but hang on now. It's not bad. It's really not bad. Ah, there's the Dun Waiter. Oh, we can push... Right, so we can push that. Unsolved environmental puzzles can be reset by exiting and re-entering the room. Alright. So. Man, there's a lot of doors. We like doors. So we've got a clock. The keyhole that can be used to unlock the face covering. Alright, well, we don't have... Anything for that, I guess. Shape for club. So. We don't know exactly. Ah. It's an open vent that I can crawl through, but it's too high and I can't reach it. Right, so that is obviously what we need to get to. Um, sure. Alright, so. <sighs> Let's give this a good old try, shall we? Kind of reminds me of the Resident Evil 2 dual puzzle. I mean, that wasn't exactly too hard, was it? A red jewel about the size of a fist. There we go. Now, where does this leave? Looks like there's going to be an awful lot of puzzles in this game. And I am very much here for that. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Where has this left us? I guess we're in a basement. We've got some shotgun shells. Oh. Well, that's the acid that we need. Or well, one of the loads of acid, anyway. Well, it sounds like there's some bullshit going on outside. Oh, right. Oh. Hi, guys. Uh, where the hell did you lot come from? No, sir. Oh, we're exhausted. That's not good. No, seriously. Where the hell did you guys come from? Let's at least try to thin the herd. Ow. Get off me. Oh, God. Right. So if they get one good bite on you, it kind of instantly takes you down to danger. Alright. And we're exhausted again. Which is less than fantastic. Man, they take some shots. So reloading is very slow. Is it worth killing all these guys? That I'm not sure. Is there enough ammo in the game to kill all the enemies? I'm gonna say maybe not, but... We're gonna give it a go. Oh, man. The brass rolling around is fantastic. Oh, I suppose we could have used some... Dynamite, I guess. That's the club door. Got ya. There's still some more zombos. Son of a... Son of a bitch. Pellet gun. Rifle shoots small metallic... Pellet. Mainly used for shooting targets at a shooting gallery. Not effective. Okay, so... Yes, just straight up tells you there. It kind of sucks. 
don't know if that was worth. No, that was definitely not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Let's go back up to caution. Alright, well, whatever. So, anyway, we've got some... Oh. A clock puzzle. Got a little save room up there. Aha! Evening. We've got a torch when we're in dark areas. That's cool. Evening, sunshine. Rise and shine. Look lively now. Ooh! You can head splodge him with a handgun. Happy with that. Go there, Chief. Bloody writing on the wall. Death is the only way out. Well, we'll see about that, Sunshine. We will see about that. I'm not writing you off straight away and saying you're wrong, but... We will put your theory to the test. Ooh. Yep, thought as much. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Ah, oh, there's a lot of them. God damn it. Okay, if we don't have to kill these guys, we won't. But the sound... Ah. Hello? Hey, it's our friendly cat. Which may or may not be that friendly. Given the circumstances. Hey, puss. You're going to fuck me over now, aren't you? Thanks for freeing me from that washing machine. Who knows how long I would have been stuck in there if you hadn't come along. I saw something shiny in the machine and went in to get it, but the lid closed on me and I couldn't get back out. I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside. Since you saved me, I'll give it to you. Here, take it. Maybe you can find a use for it. Oh, a coin. Well, thanks, puss. Got the dog coin. Well, who saw that coming? Everybody, probably. No matter. So, we've got ourselves one of the coins. Let's go save it. We haven't exactly been careful with our resources, but whatever. See, this is one of the wonderful things about PCs. You get all of these cool, kind of like indie style games. Let's drop your ass, because you're literally just going to be a problem, mumbling and moaning and whinging your way around. Sounds like me at work. Ah, shit. Alright. I guess, yep. Yeah, it's going to wake the whole fucking herd up. Are you dead? Yeah, you are dead now. Right, let's get outside. Reload. Think about our situation. Got a lot of shotgun ammo. I'm guessing we do need to have a little poke around in here. Oh! Oh! They hit the whole fruit right there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. Not that he was that merciful this day. Oh. Alright, cool. Another coin. Now, is there. Can we, like, crouch in this game? I don't know. Uh, guess not. Didn't know whether there'd ever be anything hidden under. under the beds or whatnot, but uh, I guess not. Right, okay, so we've got two of the three coins that we need. Still no no keys. 
That room we haven't explored yet either. Oh. Unlocked. Ah. All right, well, that's good to know. So we've looped right around. Full circle. Sort of. But not really. Ah, caffeine. Ah, oh, sweet caffeine. All right. All right. So, we need a key. We need something heavy for the dumb waiter. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back downstairs and start exploring here. So, where haven't we been here? We've been everywhere in there. So, we've got the king's bust, but we don't have like a crown or anything to put in. Um. Right, well, I guess the only place left to explore is uh, in the main room. So, we've got another wing, I'm guessing, to have a look around in. Where's Barry when you need him? Baza. Uh, yeah, these doors are locked. I mean, are they locked? Did we try them? I guess they're probably locked. That one was locked. Yeah, locked. I guess this one is. The door to the pantry. The faint stench of rotten meat is coming from behind it. You try to open the door, but it won't budge. After a moment of rough... A rough voice suddenly calls out from the other side. Is somebody there? Please, I need help. I've accidentally locked myself in and I can't get back out. While I've been stuck in here, my precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape so that I can add fresh toys to it. Please, we can help each other. You wish to get in? I wish to get out. The key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved onto it. Please hurry. I do not wish to spend another moment stuck here. My collection is rotting away. Yeah, that guy sounds on the level. Oh, jeez. Um. Well, that was about as satisfying as it gets. Was it a waste? Maybe. Maybe that was a waste. We might never know. Made a freaking mess here, though. May this be a reminder to check every single door. Oh! Ah, a bloody sack. Do you reckon that we can, like, chuck that down there? Most likely, I'd wager. Alright. I like the way the doors like actually disappeared there as well. Alright, let's go back upstairs with our bloody sack. Heave the motherfucker down down the hole. I was wondering if we we're gonna find like a can of orange juice or something. To go full on Silent Hill. I guess not. Right. Bloody sack. I wonder if it says, like, this is heavy or some shit. So, yeah, there you go. Surprisingly heavy for its size. Ooh. Hey! The platform that's stuck in the shaft has been dislodged and fallen to the bottom. Yeah, excellent. I think it's going to be a bit of a bit of a sticky bottom as well, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Sticky bottom because, you know, probably, uh, you know, full of heads and I don't know kittens or something I don't know I've no idea what could have been in there but probably nothing uh, nothing that we want to play with that's for sure but then we did play with it and we had a good time so whatever oh that's the pantry key ah I mean I mean I guess it's sort of blue Right. What's the betting that this son of a bitch that comes out of here is going to be a little bit, a little bit of a gnarly bastard? The key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. All 
Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, you have found the key. Hurry and open the door. My collection is rotting as we speak. Finally, I can get back to work on adding fresh toys to my precious collection. You open the door and what greets you is the ghastly sight of mutilated bodies impaled on stakes. The pungent stench of rotting flesh bursts from the now open doorway and assaults your nose. Mysteriously, the key has disappeared and there's no sign of the person that was locked inside the room. Um. Hmm. All right. Against my better judgment. Oh. A young woman has been impaled on a wooden stake. Her expression is eerily peaceful despite the gruesome manner of her death. She is clutching a coin in her hand. Take it? Yes. You pry the coin from her dead hands. A moment later, the anguished crying of a woman echoes throughout the pantry and a cold chill runs up your spine as you sense malicious presence in the centre of the room. Hello. Oh, fuck me. Meet Golem. Well, fuck you and your collection, sir. Alright. Ow. That was certainly painful. Come on, buddy. Let's keep let's keep moving. There we go. Oh. Fuck you, friend. Oof. Got an achievement for that. Oof. I'm guessing that was the guy that was talking to us. We got the pantry key. What do we want that for? So I'm wondering, like this woman and these people here, because she was clutching one of the coins. I wonder if uh, these are other people that have been called to this place. I mean, that would be pretty cool if that was the case. Right. So we're basically done there. Should probably benefit from finding a save station. I mean, we could also do this. No, let's save it first. We've kind of done quite a lot, a lot of progress. So, be sad to die now. Because then I would have to remember all the stuff we've done, you see. And I ain't no much good at that. Yeah, I get the feeling, like, these are all people that have um, run this gauntlet before. Alright, coin dog. Old man. Ah, club key. Okay. So we had a club. No, that was a spade. <laughs> Don't get your clubs and your spades mixed up, guys. Um, I guess we could just go. Up. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll just go up this way. Also, we can check out what was uh, the other side. Although, for some reason, I have a feeling that that door might be locked as well. Wait, did we go? <sighs> yeah, that was the way to the shooting gallery, wasn't it? We haven't tried that door yet either. Ah, and it does open. Curious. Very curious. Oh, dogs. Really? I was not expecting to fight dogs. But then, to be honest, I'm not really sure what to expect at all, actually. Can we sneak past them? Ah, oh, of course we can't. Uh, we can't jump, either. 
You know what? Ooh. Alright. Not quite as tough as I was expecting. I'll be honest. You can really rattle off rounds with this gun. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. You know, this handgun is actually pretty good. It definitely feels a little bit more serviceable. Um, and it feels like I'm going to get a little bit more mileage with it than like the Resident Evil handguns. That was three. Oh, that's three shotgun shells. I was going to say like three handgun bullets. Don't spit in my face. But it wasn't. So let's have a little look in here if we can. We cannot. We need a key. That's fine. Also, this game is, like, I think I've already said it like 58,000 times. This is fantastic. I want a whole game like this. I know this one's only supposed to be a couple of hours, but... Right, look from the other side. I did pretty much assume as much. Right. Now, one of these doors was locked. Two of these doors was locked. Okay. Let's drop a save. Never walk past the save room without dropping a save. You know the rules. And so do I. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, we didn't. Okay, I thought we did. So, yeah, we still need a key for that. All right. Oh. Well, how about that, Jack? How about that indeed? Are you gonna... Hmm. I get the feeling this thing's gonna attack me. Lord William has been acting unusual of late. He's been spending all of his time in the basement and Lady Irma has fallen into a deep depression over his strange behaviour. It all seems to have started after he asked me and a few other servants to install a wardrobe over a large hole in the basement. In the weeks afterwards, it's almost like he has become a different person, aloof and quick to anger. Lord William has ordered us to meet him in the basement again tomorrow night. I wonder what strange task he'll have us do this time. Indeed. Oh. Yeah, that's scribbly. We can talk to it. There's a fleshy growth on the wall with a large hole in the center. A creature with glowing red eyes is peering out of the hole. Hello, stranger. Would you mind doing me a favor? Uh, sure. Um... Thank you, stranger. I've tried asking others, but they would only scream and run away the moment I greeted them. How rude. You see, I'm a avid collector of human heads. The tortured expression of death on their faces fills me with great joy. But my collection is flawed. I've recently realized that something is missing. All of the heads in my collection are male, and I have no female heads. I wish to correct this imbalance. If you can bring me three female human heads and place them on the tray I have provided, I will reward you for your troubles. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, look, no promises, but we shall see what we can do. I wonder if we go back into that room. Um with all their heads on spikes. I wonder if there's human heads in there. Oh, hey. Nice. So I guess there's just, oh, there's a, I say there's just like a crit chance, um, but it appears to be a very high crit chance. Clock key, very nice. Oh, well, this seems straight out of Resident Evil um, 1. Was it Resident Evil 0? 
That was Resident Evil, uh, the original Resident Evil 1, wasn't it? Yeah, because Resident Evil Remake, you didn't have this. You had the coloured pots, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, in the original Resident Evil, you had the, the clock. Okay. So that's what? Eight. Ten past eight. All right. Okay. I mean, that was nice and straightforward. I guess. Ten past eight. We've got ourselves a nice little happy key. Um... Like so. Right. So... You. There we go. What have we got? Oh! Oh, we got the other key. Didn't even look down to see that. Alright. Now we're actually really cooking with gas. Creature in the hole. That's locked from the other side. So if we go in there, well, we got to go downstairs anyway. So let's let's go downstairs. Uh, we need to check the room um, that the flesh golem was in, just to see if there's a female head in there. It's oddly uh, specific. I did wonder how one female head was gonna, you know regain the balance, but <laughs> obviously it's not one, is it? Um, where are we going? Uh, we need to go in here. God damn. Yep. So we found one vial of acid. I suppose we can drop that in there whilst we're there. Right, acid. Does it matter? Nope, I guess it doesn't. Right, now, is there a female head in here? Or whether we can sever her head? Uh, doesn't look like it. A young woman has been in yes. Ah, right. He wanted female heads for his collection. Take her head. Yes. <laughs> Use your survival knife to cut off and take her head. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Why not? Uh, <laughs> so we're just lugging around this stiff's head now. Sure. Alright. So that's one head. Let us go back into the main room. Gonna drop a save and <laughs> we're gonna drop a save and then we're gonna use the spade key, I guess. So we need the cabin key. Alright. What I'm enjoying about this as well is the way the game flows. There's not a lot of um, you know, like <sighs> I'm not getting stuck or anything. The puzzles, although they're fun, they're nice and obvious. There's no ridiculous barrier. You know, it's not one of those games where you end up running around for moon logic reasons. At least so far, anyway. You know, who knows? But uh, yeah, really, really having a good time with this. So thank you for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.